go. Let the legend come back to life. Few franchises can call themselves pillar of our modern gaming. They either grew outdated, never got continued, or simply made to dust. A few still survive and even sometimes surprises us. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say that the boss is back. I'm Louis, and this is Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. Nothing like a little digoxin to get you back in the game. Come on! Let's get something right off the bat. If you never played any Metal Gears before, you will be left out with some notable blank spot on events and character. If you want all the necessary story content, you have to play Metal Gear Solid 3, Peace Walker and optionally Ground Zeroes respectively. Would it however diminish the enjoyment of this game? If you didn't, absolutely not. Metal Gear Solid 5 is accessible to new players and will introduce slowly and nicely you to the tactical espionage action. Kojima changed Phantom Pain routes for a linear, heavy restored driven experience to a full-on open-world system with his signature style, cinematic and storytelling between mission. Since the Phantom Pain is set in 1984, its role is to link both half of the series together with this last iteration. It fills the gap very well and suits the 8th generation perfectly with all its new features. Phantom Pain puts you in the skin of Venom Snake, a now aged but powerful and clever soldier that specializes in infiltration and intelligence gathering. With him, Kazuhira Miller and Revolver Ocelot helps as the trio plans their next geopolitical war. With their previous base destroyed and comrades killed nine years ago, they are thirsty for revenge. With Cypher and Skullface behind the original attack, Snake is brought back to life from a coma and reinstituted as the legendary soldier. Together, he will create a new base and raise a private army under the name of Diamond Dogs. Returning from Hill, he will do missions in Africa and Afghanistan to reinstate your position and truly show what Diddy is capable of. The punished Venom Snake is perfect for this scenario and will have you to encounter absolute difficult mission. War child, women abuse and torture are part of this story. It's mature and it's exactly what it should be. The main story will take you about 20 to 30 hours. Add to that side ups, deploying the mission and a bit of online, you have a game that goes well above 100 hours of gameplay. The world will be torn asunder. And then? shall be free. People will suffer, of course. A phantom pain. Metal Gear Solid V keeps being true to itself. It's mainly an infiltration game with emphasis on stealth. However, this time, things have changed. Since Kojima put the player in an open world, the approach are varied and completely up to the player. Objective can be completed without firing a single bullet, but if you want to go loud, you're free to do so. The battlefield are placed in Afghanistan and Africa, for two different and reasonably large maps for you to travel and complete your goals. Each mission will limit the zone on the map with various drop points and objectives, making the storyline progress further. Side-ups will let you free roam the map for points of interest. Snakes has all the tools to successfully complete the missions. Perfect hand-to-hand -hand combat, powerful weaponry, tranquilizers and external help from his buddy and helicopter. You will play as a third-person shooter, but you can also enter first-person shooter to improve your aim at all time. Strategy usually goes as follows. Find a good vantage point to scan enemy position. The landscape and different approach. Take the Soviets out or slip through their patrol to reach an extract or kill the marked target. You could also drop a tank you captured earlier and just fire on everything that can shoot back. Both are legitimate strategies that will work. 
enemies are varied and are not to be taken lightly. At first it will be poorly armored and equipped with standard AK-47. After a while enemies get much better at sustaining fire and get different roles. Their reaction does feel repetitive, but it's perfect to plan your tactics with the experience you will gain. Weather is also an important factor, since storm, heavy rain and cloudy nights can help you muffle your first step and impair visibility of the enemies. Being more stealthy without bringing any alarm will give you more GMP, which serves as the main game currency. This currency is then used to buy and upgrade weapons, armor, body equipment and building platform at Mother Base. Soldiers, animals, vehicles and containers can all be extracted via balloons called Fulton. Extracting animals will be rewarded with GMPs depending on their rarity, which you can then visit at a separate base. The rest will be kept to grow your army and give you necessary resources. You will feel like you are extracting everything and that's a good thing. Don't be scared to knock your enemy down and bring them to Diamond Dogs. Boss battles are a disappointment, not only they are too few, but they don't ask for deep strategies. You won't necessarily feel accomplished once you've beaten them. Customization adds a new layer of possibilities. At some point, you will be able to modify all your weapons to the extent of what you have researched. Mixing weapon scope, magazines, barrels, stock silencers, grips and a lot more. Even the vehicles of your base can be customized to give them a feel of your own. However, the better equipment you bring to the battlefield and the stronger your helicopter, the more expensive each deployment is, making you balance on the good equipment without bringing a full arsenal. Same goes for your body as you can change their appearance and loadout. Those bodies are important. They each fill a role that helps you in some ways during your mission. I like the dog for its ability to smell life forms around me, but I miss the sniping cover from Quiet or the speed of the horse. You will have to choose which body to bring depending on the situation. A great feature is that you can change the body during missions and making the transition easy. You can also change your weaponry and armor, but you cannot customize them on the field. The mother base is a big part of Metal Gear Solid 5. Not only does it serve as host of most of the plot location, but you have an entire responsibility to manage it. Building new platforms, getting new staff, deploying soldier formation, researching new gear and finally making sure the morale is at all time high. It's entirely dynamic and it will feel at home after a few hours of development and dozens of visits. It's a nice feeling to see it grow and each soldiers or prisoner extracted to be there with their respective codename and skills. They will patrol, have discussions and ask for some training. Jeeps or helicopter will be available to you to transfer from one platform to the other giving you a scale of what Diamond Dog is becoming. <laughs> Multiplayer is limited for the moment to front operating base, or FOB for short. You can construct and upgrade a new base in a selected ocean, acting for a second base of your operation, opening room to more staff and other source of deployment and income. The only catch is, this base is publicly visible and any other players are free to infiltrate it, which allows them to steal your personal and resources. You however have the possibility to protect those platforms via settings that will manage the defense. Mines, drones, sensors are all little tools that will slow down and maybe even kill the invader. You will also post security teams on each platform, equipping them with weapons of different range of your choosing, as well as the best armor you have developed. The more platform constructed, the more soldier posted, keeping the tension of high risk, high rewards thrilling. Finally, the defender can also try to stop the invasion by himself if he gets the chance, making things close and personal. As the attacking party, you will have various drop points available, a few minutes to scout the platforms and a usual arsenal. However, helicopter support and the buddy system will not be part of the mission. You can build your first FOB for free, the other will demand some MB currency that can only be purchased via microtransaction or daily bonus for the moment. Are FOBs essential? Not really, but it certainly helps the grind and gives the game a lot more to manage on the long run. The main characters are all voiced by a great cast of actors. Even if we miss the iconic David Hater, the coming of Kiefer Sutherland is perfectly fit for Snake's vocal cord which has less dialogue than any other Metal Gear before, but will still deliver an exemplary performance that represents Snake's character marvelously. So for those who were skeptical, don't worry. 
it's all well scripted and no dialogues really feel empty of either emotions or purpose. Skullface is surprisingly amazing with his deep and logical voice behind words like masculine and biological weapons. With Harry Gregson William as captain of the soundtrack plus dozen of popular songs from the 80s, the symphonies of the Phantom Pain is none short of brilliant. The crucial and cinematic scenes are well placed with key songs at ends that makes an explosive sensation of perfect cinematographical harmony. Better yet, you can listen to them in-game and even put some introduction symphony on your helicopter for some glorious battlefield deployment. The cassettes are also used to play various interrogation and discussion between the cast to give you more insight of the story. It fills the story gaps greatly and as the fact you can listen to them without impairing the gameplay makes for a smoother and constructive travel between objectives. They are ultimately interesting and well dialogue, such as Miller talking about the ultimate burger. The overall sound design doesn't lack on any scale, the texture of the ground under your foot, the shell casing dropping from your gun, the radio calls and the wildlife emit certain sound that gives a small touch that puts the emphasis on the world around you, creating a great illusion and putting the player in total immersion. We did it. You see this? Diamond Docks. Our new home. As you can tell by now, Metal Gear Solid 5 look fantastic. The facial hair and texture are to be left with desired, but the effects and animation are superb. Of course, some weird things happen when you hold an enemy from a distance he just seems to be pulled with an invisible force and I have encountered some physics glitch. It's not annoying and it runs very smoothly. The biggest part of the scenes, they look absolutely stunning. With Kojima's long camera shooting style, it simply pulls the Phantom Pain ahead of any other game in terms of art direction. The transition is completely fluid between the scenes and the gameplay, leaving the immersion perfectly matched. I was personally hyped for this game. Early reviews came in and I couldn't believe it. But oh boy, was I in for a ride. You will be stuck on your couch or computer chair for hours, days after days. One more extraction, one more mission, one more infiltration. It shows how much Kojima and his teams can put brilliance in the video game series over the years. I deem it a 9.8 out of 10. This dog might be flawed, but it's a diamond for sure. It is probably the contender for best game of the year and also best game of this generation. In the end, there really is only one big boss. Took you so long. 